What's going on YouTube? Eat all the birds. Little bread and shed. So I'm out here in the garage. I'm gonna make a loaf of bread in the Dutch oven for you. Done it a couple times, turns out pretty good. Nice rustic loaf of bread. Uh, you can do it all kinds of different ways. This one is a very easy, uh, kind of a food storage-y type loaf of bread stuff that you've always got on hand. So let's get started. My first thing I do, I got a little pocket stove. You don't need this, you can use a barbecue. You can use your uh, stove inside, the fire outside on the ground, whatever. And of course, I'm not going to cook the bread on this. Like I said, I'm going to use the Dutch oven. This is just a little trick I like to do. So it's, you know, it's about 65 degrees here in the garage. Throw this little fuel tab on. Get a number, can, number uh, 10 can full of tap water. About a third full. Set it on there, forget about it. All right, next, get my bread bowl. Got a, a cup and a quarter of tepid water, about 100 degrees. I threw two tablespoons of powdered milk into it. You don't have to do the powdered milk. I just happen to have a bunch of it, and I like it. All right, so in it goes. Into that, one packet of rapid dry or of rapid dry yeast. Then I've got two tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Easy stuff. Stir it up. Now, like I said, this is very, very basic bread. Easy to make. Not really a hassle at all. All right. Now, to that, I'm going to add a big scoop of Crisco. You know, any kind of vegetable shortening, butter is better. But we're doing food storage stuff, stuff I'm always going to have sitting around. Okay, throw that in there. No need to stir that. All right. Now, the flour. You can use all purpose. You can use pretty much whatever you want. It all makes bread. The kind I like is unbleached white. But like I said, whatever you got. I got four cups in the bowl. I'm going to use three for the bread and then one cup to dust the board and do, you know, random stuff like that. So I'm not even gonna let that yeast sit around for, for a while. I'm just gonna go in with the in with the flour, about three cups. Okay. Stir that around. Now I, I use tap water for the number 10 can to, to start heating up, but I've got filtered water in the bread. You always want to use a nice filtered water if you're doing yeast, or because that chlorine in the tap water does not play well with the yeast. Alright. Alright, always got a little bit of water on standby just in case. About 100 degrees again. Now just remember, if you're not used to making bread, if you get a, your hands on a bread recipe, you cannot follow it exactly. Lots of variables, temperature, you know, all kinds of different things. Humidity, they all play into it. Okay. This thing's gonna take quite a bit more water. pretty good. Perfect stickiness. It's hard to explain. You got to make it a few times. Perfect stickiness and it's warm to the touch. All right. Got it all gathered up. Take a little bit of that flour I reserved. Dust the board. Okay, dough ball. Now lots of different people have lots of different times they like to knead their dough. I go until that fuel tab burns down, which is about, I don't know, it's under 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. All right, so, we just kind of push this around. When you bend it over, you'll see a damp spot where you've stretched it. You can add a little bit of flour to that when you need to. You don't want to make it too dry. 
Like I said, you got to do this a couple times. And you'll kind of get a feel for it. So I'm going to keep doing this. You know, eight to ten minutes, whatever. You can do it for five. It doesn't matter. Just change the bread a little bit. You might like it better that way. A little more dust when it needs it. I'm going to take care of this. I'll be back with you in about five minutes or so. All right, so I spent a few minutes kneading it. Got it the way I like it. Okay, here's what's next. Now that number 10 can full of the near, well, simmering water. Okay, I take it off. Take my bread bowl. Dust it real good. Put my loaf in it. Put that on top of the number 10 can and cover it with a rag. Okay, I dampen this rag with warm water. And there she'll sit. I'm gonna let that go for you know one to two hours. You know, whenever you get back to it. About an hour and a half will probably wouldn't be when I get to it, and that's when I'll see you. Stick with me. All right, everybody, I let this bread rise for a full two hours. You know, I was out, got a little busy. Shouldn't hurt anything. It looks great. All right, the water's just barely warm. It did its thing. All right, I can get rid of this. There she is. Without that, uh, without that water or putting this you know, next to a fireplace or something like that, it wouldn't look this good. So that is a nice trick. All right, so the thing with this, take it out of the bowl, just like that, and be very gentle with it. Just going to push it down, tiny bit of flour, this is the bottom, a little bit of flour there. I'm going to kind of tuck it in like this, push it down, flip it over. I don't want to put any seams on the top like I did on the bottom. Okay, now for my Dutch oven, I like to flatten it so it doesn't rise up and touch the lid and scorch. Okay, that's it. Okay, second rise. Uh, it takes me about 15 minutes to get my coals ready for the Dutch oven. That's how long I'll let this rise. Next time you see me, we'll be throwing it in the Dutchie and uh, starting the cooking process. Be right back. All right, the Dutch oven is ready to go. So I took all the uh, different variables into consideration, the temperature, you know, all that kind of stuff of the garage. I'm shooting for about 375 degrees. So on a 10 inch shallow Dutch oven, I went 10 pieces on the bottom, like so, and then 20 on top. Uh, in about 15 minutes, I'll pull the four off the center on this lid here and just get rid of them, and then just use the ring on top. So I've been preheating it for about 10 minutes, and I've oiled it. I just took a little vegetable oil and uh, paper towel. I oiled the oven and the bottom of the lid because that bread should rise up and touch the bottom of that lid somewhat. All right, so here we go. Grab my loaf, plunk it straight in. If you want to mess with it and get it centered, whatever. All right, lid on. All right, now what I'm going to do. Like I said, I'm going to wait about 10-15 minutes, remove those four coals from the center of the lid. Uh, then I will spin the lid a half turn one way and the oven a half turn the opposite way. Uh, give it about 10-15 more minutes after that and then I'll go ahead and check it. And it should be pretty close to done by then. Anyway you guys, I'm going to have a nice beverage. See you in a few minutes. Alright, it's been in there about 35 minutes. I haven't peaked. I have spun the oven around though. 
No, oh, yeah. Looks real good. All right. Sounds good. Feels good. Moves. All right. You can use lots of different tools to get these out of here. Uh, I like to use quickness and speed. Ha ha. That is ripping hot. You can see the bottom. Beautiful. Woo. All right. Let that cool down for about 20 minutes. Show you what it looks like, and we'll chop it up. All right. I was going to show you when I first cut it up. The smell of this gets out, and then all of a sudden you get visitors. So I, I apologize for that. Uh, kids came out, wife came out. They've got to have their bread. So I'll show you the, uh, well, I would say second cut, but more like fourth or fifth cut. So anyway, it turned out real nice. Got a really nice chrome to it, and this uh, this nice. This is why I use the bread flour. You can use all-purpose flour, but you're going to get a crisper crust, which, I mean, that's good too, but for the first day on this bread flour, this thing is soft, just like a dinner roll. Really nice. All right. Now I'm using the wrong knife for this. That's the way it goes. Cuts pretty darn good. Nice piece of bread, nice and soft, like I said, at least for the first day. Then it starts getting a little crispy on you. Here's the old taste test. Oh man. A little butter. That is good bread. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.